One of the things I find fascinating is when we talk about even preclinical research is um, how technology is coming into play. You know, right now I'm thinking about um, uh, machine learning models being used to analyze um, past clinical trials. I know we're preclinical right now, but how does technology play a role in your work? Oh, technology is everything in our work. <laughs> um, I know you asked a question about biomarkers earlier. Uh, so right now we are trying to evaluate and um, sort of deduce what the mechanism is that lazofloxacin um, is able to act as a partial agonist in the bone microenvironment. Um, so sort of the new technologies that we are utilizing are uh, spatial transcriptomics. So sort of the future directions of our projects is to um, be able to spatially evaluate metastatic cells in the microenvironment, as well as bone cells, um, proximally and distally to metastasis to see how maybe, you know, being nearer to the metastasis can change how bone cells behave. Um, and then we can look at, you know, under normal conditions and treatment conditions, does that change um, to be more favorable for patient outcomes? Uh, so that's one new technology that we're really excited about. And another um, is proteomics. So proteomics is kind of a newer hot topic. A lot of people have studied RNA for many, many years, um, but now we're able to look at globally what's happening to the proteome and the phosphoproteome. So functionally, what are these proteins doing? Um, so one of our future directions for this project is to collect cells that have been treated with lazofloxacin um, and look at, you know, what is ER really interacting with? What is the mechanism this is, you know, how this is happening? Are there biomarkers that we can identify that will you know, tell us which patients will respond best to lassofloxifene. Um, so, yes, proteomics is a very exciting new field for us as well. Um, so how does lassofloxifene compare to other serms like raloxifene and tamoxifen um, in terms of bone-specific outcomes and side effect profiles? Yes. So raloxifene and tamoxifen have bone protective qualities as well. Um, I think that lassofloxifene is um, a more effective drug when it comes to the bone microenvironment at protecting the homeostasis of that organ. Um, but I think the real advantage to lazofloxifene is that it is really able to downregulate estrogen signaling in breast cancer cells extremely well and reduce their viability in the preclinical setting better than tamoxifen. Um, so that's something we're super excited about. What are some of the common adverse effects observed by lazofloxifene regarding um, bone and maybe non-bone tissue yeah, that's an, ex an excellent question because so many organs in the body are regulated by estrogen. Um, so lazofloxifene is bound to have organ differential effects. Um, tamoxifen, for example, affects the lining of the uterus and can you know, increase incidence of uterine cancer in patients taking this compound. Um, lazofloxifene has a more favorable side effect profile. It is not as likely to increase uterine hyperplasia. Um, a patient's seem to not have a lot of the, the similar effects of other SERMs like vaginal dryness and um, like sexual dysfunction. So we're really excited about this compound because it, you know, it's got a more favorable side effect profile than other SERMs while still providing the same anti-cancer benefits.